Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so in today's video I'm going to be recreating a Vogue model part two. Um, I have done this once before. The look that I done before was more of a like glowy, natural, releasing like inner beauty kind of a thing, but like with makeup on. Um, I will pop up a picture here and I will also link the video down below if you want to go and see that. Um, I loved how that turned out. Um, but in today's video I have seen this look I think twice in two different Vogue magazines. Now as you know, I can, if you didn't know, um, I collect Vogue like out of this world. Well I've only been doing it for like two years. But I love Vogue, I try and get it every single month if I can. Now, in last month's Vogue, which I believe was July's Vogue, here it is. This is what it is. And I seen in the Chanel photo shoots this kind of a makeup look. Now, as you can see, it's very bold, hardly no mascara, very natural inner beauty on the skin. But when you go to the eyes, it's like bold, bright eyeliner. As you know, I like, if I do a bold eye, I like to like kind of make it even more dramatic by applying eyelashes. I just feel more, so much more prettier and it brings the whole look together if you apply lashes, mascara, it just brings the whole thing together. Now in this, as you can see, there is no mascara involved, very minimal makeup on the face and very bushy eyebrows. So that was that and then I went into this month's Vogue, which is the August Vogue, this one right here, and I've seen the exact same thing, I mean it's both the Chanel photo shoot, but it was from two different models. So as you can see, um, this beautiful model has um, like white eyeliner on hers instead of blue. So I wanted to recreate it, see what I think with this, oh gosh. Anyways, if you do this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do click that notification bell if you have some videos like this in the future. And if you want to, if you want to go and follow me on most social media platforms across the internet, my Instagram and Twitter will be linked down below as always and on the screen right here. So, without further ado, I'm gonna dive straight in to this brand new video. So for foundation today, I know it is minimal. But I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear Foundation. Um, I actually, as you know, I love this one. It was between this and the Wet n Wild and I wanted to have a little bit of colour to my skin. So, and I feel like I'm applying foundation with a brush at the minute. And it just gives my foundation a more natural look to it. And I'm really living for it. So, that's what I'm going to do. To do then is just go in with a dry beat blender and just blend all the little places out because um, sometimes the brush can give you like streaks and you know that kind of spotty like dot kind of a thing but I love this foundation so much it just it's like like an inner beauty like you don't want too full coverage but this can go full coverage if you want it to but I just love this one. For concealer, I've actually been going in with my ordinary foundation and literally been doing these dots under here and then just going in with my brush and just blending it like this. And then I'll just go in with a beauty blender again. Pick up any excess product, any just product that's lying for you with the brush and literally it takes me like three minutes to do my foundation and concealer and normally with a beauty blender if I was sitting here filming it would take way longer than that any other areas that I just feel like I want more coverage I'll just take my L'Oreal Infallible in 325 and I'll just take the tip of the beauty blender and just sit and pat it in that spot which means the concealer won't spread anywhere else meaning that you won't get any more full coverage anywhere else and I'll just kind of focus it a little bit because as you know I have problem areas and maybe like one big massive spot that I'm like uh uh girl I'm not living for you at all um 
that will just cover it so well. And even if I have some extra on my brush, on my beauty blender, I'll just kind of tuck it in under the eyes or anything, just to make it a little bit more full coverage. For powder, I'm gonna go in with my Stay Matte by Rimmel. Love this one. I'm just gonna take just like a brush like this and just pat it under. And then I'll just go in with my um, Mario Badescu spray. For bronzer, I have noticed like she hardly has any contour going on. Like maybe a tiny bit, but I don't know if that's the way the shade is. I'm not sure, so I'm not gonna go very heavy on the bronzer, but I feel like the skin is matching up well because it's just very natural, very like, my skin but better. I love that so much. I think I'm still gonna go in with the shade I like from my um, Revolution palette and just do a very light kind of color on my cheeks. Okay, so that is literally like, feel like nothing to me at all. Oh my God, I hate it. My go-to blush at the minute, I'm not gonna put a lot on because she doesn't look like she has a lot on. Um, but my go-to blush is this number seven stick. I have been loving this. I literally just draw a little bit on just to give my cheeks some color and then I'll take a flat brush and then just buff it into the skin. I will do this if I don't have any makeup on and without and with even. I know I probably shouldn't but I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of highlighter um, I'm gonna go in with my new H&M highlighter in the shade Delicate Pearl. If you haven't seen the review video, I will link it down below. I love these highlighters. Um, I think they're just kind of the same as Rosie for autograph, my other go-to. So I kind of just want like that. Like, it's very minimalistic. brows hers looked so bushy and thick um mine don't look bushy well they are kind of a thick brow I do have I'll just say that um but I did pick up a brand new brow pencil by Primark now this isn't this is a brow sketch so it's got the tiniest tiniest and I mean tiny hello we're gonna focus tiniest little itty bitty like pencil drawer thing <laughs> and I thought focusing hello and um, I thought this would be perfect to give you bushy eyebrows because this might be a little bit too thick and then when you comb it back through <clears throat> it is going to kind of smudge out make you look more block brow kind of a thing so that is what I'm gonna do for my brows it looks like I've got something on them I don't out there but here we go this is the kind of look I am feeling so far very minimalistic I will tell you that um, just looks like I've got like eyebrow tint on like I've got my eyebrows tinted but it just kind of gives them that boost you know like that natural because I think at the minute Vogue designers are like aiming for that for their makeup looks like minimal kind of face and then bold eyes because of how bold their clothing is um, I remember watching this program called Glow Up I don't know how to explain it so like makeup artists are like competing to be the best and get like a makeup artist contract and everything and one of them was that the designer wanted a like minimal face minimal like eye no they wanted like minimal face but they wanted like bright bold eyes something that will stand out with the camera because if you think about it like bright clothes and then if you have like 
like big bold face it's not gonna look quite right not gonna kind of mix in with what you're kind of trying to sell and I remember the uh, makeup artist done like this kind of an eyeliner and they loved the way they turned out because it just made the model stand out so much more and the clothes and just everything that they were wearing and everything and I just loved it so just thought I'd tell you a little story while I was doing my second eyebrow so I've done my brows, I'm going to set them in place with a little bit of Ready Set Brow by Benefit. I'm going to brush up my brows, make them look bushy. I haven't had my brows done in a while, so... Ooh, hello. so I kind of look angry but if you just brush them up they'll give them more of a fluffy effect okay time for the eyes oh that's kind of like glue like oh, stuck to them. what am I even doing so for the eyes I'm gonna do a purple liner now this goes in all the way around here to under here it all connects except the ends and I am going to use a Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Ransom. I literally just found this in my collection and thought it would be the perfect shade. Um, I'm quite concerned because we're not doing mascara, we're not doing any eyelashes. It's kind of minimal. Like this whole thing that I'm doing on my face right now, I literally could go into school like this. Or because we're not allowed makeup and this would just look like I don't have makeup on so weird okay so when she looks this way the line just glazes past her crease so i'm gonna zoom you closer I'm going to use the tiniest bit of ordinary foundation and just kind of clean up this bit here. Okay, yeah, let's look. That just makes it look so much better. Well, to me it does. And I feel like it should be thicker, but I don't want to thicken it up too much because if I do, it might look horrendous. Is it a shock that I'm gonna go in with my James Charles palette and I'm gonna take a liner brush and just to make this uber perfect, I'm gonna go in with the shade Escape and just like make this just set it really and just make it a tiny bit darker. Flicking away all the fallout because the James Charles palette is pigmented. Whoa, hmm, do I like it? I'm not sure. Now, I know this doesn't do any with lashes, like, it doesn't really involve lashes, but I'm just gonna quickly curl my lashes. I'm gonna take like the tiniest, tiniest little coat. That's really curled. <laughs> um, tiniest, tiniest little coat. With my Diego Della Palma, like it'll look like I put nothing on. See, it just gives that tiny bit more to the look. Okay, so I'm gonna speed up the next eye.
far. It's very minimal. Right, well, you kind of look at me and you're like, minimal? You call this minimal? Who are you? Anyways, um, I'm kind of feeling a bit matte, a bit bland, and as you know, I love a good shimmer. So in my last video, I reviewed the H&M um, little, what's it called? Oh my god, I should have singles, that's it. Um, and this one is in the shade um, Let It Shine. Now as you can see, it's got, it is white shadow, but it has tiniest, little, like, tiniest hint and reflect of green. I think that is so pretty. For lips, because she has very like pale lips, I'm gonna go in with this Make Me Beautiful um, lipstick in the shade Simply Peach. And I'm gonna go in with Studio 10 Gloss. So this is the final makeup. Now let me just say, this isn't the kind of look I would normally go for. The skin, I'm really living for the skin. I love how it's um, turned out. It's very natural, very, very natural. It hardly looks like I've got any makeup on, um, except this highlighter, but that is it. And um, the eyes are very extravagant. This kind of an eyeliner, I wouldn't normally go out in. That's just personal opinion. I just don't feel like it suits me in my eyes, eyes like thing. Um, but yes, I love how natural the face is and the lashes. Kind of living the lip colour as well. Um, but um, I'm. I feel like I've succeeded. Feel like I have. But anyways, if you did like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do click that notification bell if you want some videos like this in the future. And don't forget to go and check out my other social media platforms across the internet, just my Instagram and Twitter, which will be linked down below, as always, as well as my previous Vogue transformation model video. But without further ado, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of these in the future, comment down below, any other video suggestions. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Get excited because it is a Primark palette review. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone.